Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be talking about the best gun available in Battlefield Hardline Beta. Now before I continue, let me just explain that the term best gun is really very subjective. To me, best gun means the most versatile and the most easy to use weapon to get kills with. Any good player is going to be able to switch out their weapons for something that's going to fit the situation better, but if you want one gun that's going to handle all situations really well, that's what we're going to focus on in today's video. Obviously, a bolt-action sniper is going to be the ultimate weapon for extreme long-range engagements. A pump-action shotgun is going to be excellent for close-quarter combat. But what about that gun that fits all those situations? That's what we're really looking for right now. And it's definitely going to fall to the Operator class. There's some very, very good guns out there for other classes right now. But the Operator class has access to the Assault Rifles. And once again, the Assault Rifles are proving to be some of the most versatile weapons in the game. Now, I'm finishing up a few kills here with the starter weapon for the operator class, the R0933. Now traditionally in Battlefield games, a lot of the starting weapons have been some of the best weapons in the game. Not the case here with the R0933. This is a very, very underpowered carbine. Once you start moving up to the assault rifles, you're going to be blown away by just how much better those guns are. Now before I move on to our two champion weapons here, I thought I would mention the runner-up, the AKM. This is an interesting weapon because it has a very high damage potential per shot. 36 max damage per round allows you to drop somebody in three hits no problem if you get a headshot on there it's two shots at range the damage only drops off to 25 so you can still four shot people pretty much guaranteed now to make up for this extremely high damage per shot it's got a lower rate of fire and it's also got a bit of a kick to it I had to run an angled foregrip and heavy barrel just to reduce some of the recoil in this weapon and you might be saying heavy barrel doesn't that increase recoil not in battlefield hardline it actually reduces your recoil however the benefits you get from it are really only experienced while stationary. If you're moving around, you're actually going to have lesser accuracy. Without question, this assault rifle is good, but it also requires a high level of skill to be effective with it. There's other weapons out there that have higher damage per second, better accuracy in general, and are just easier to use. Let's talk about those. The M416 has always been a powerful weapon in the Battlefield franchise, and it's certainly going to stand out in Battlefield Hardline as one of the best guns in the game. Known as the HK416 in real life, this is one of the most high-tech, well rounded and robust assault rifles in the world. And in Battlefield Hardline, it's seen a massive upgrade from its Battlefield 4 counterpart. Let's take a look at the Simthic stats. The top stats are from Battlefield 4 and the bottom are the new ones from Battlefield Hardline. As you can see, the gun has gotten a 100 round per minute rate of fire boost. And if that weren't enough of a damage upgrade, they've also increased the actual damage of the bullets. The max damage is now 28 up from 24. That means you're gonna get a guaranteed four shot kill in up to 40 meters. Look at the damage drop off. It doesn't even start dropping off until 40 meters away. So think of it this way. The M416 was already an extremely good gun in Battlefield 4. It's now that exact same gun except it shoots a lot faster and does a lot more damage. In fact, the only downgrade it got was a reduction to its reload speed. 2.21 seconds for short, 2.6 for its long. Not much of a downgrade and an easy sacrifice to make. Now despite this massive, massive upgrade to an already good gun from Battlefield 4, there's still one gun in Battlefield Hardline that I think is slightly better than the M416, and that is the M16A3, making a glorious return to Battlefield Hardline. This thing tears it up like you wouldn't believe. Although it has a slightly slower rate of fire at 800 rounds per minute, it easily makes up for that in its accuracy. Its side-to-side -side recoil is half of the M416, which was already very low to begin with. So this thing doesn't even feel like it's recoiling at all when you fire. It's really kind of an amazing weapon, and if you like shooting targets at even further ranges or you're just a precision shot, you can aim for the head, you're gonna drop people so incredibly fast. Popping up the simthick.com stats, you'll see that it has a 650 meter per second bullet velocity, making it extremely good for hitting moving targets and ranged targets. It's got the same damage model as the M416, 28 max, 18 minimum, with that nice 40 meter drop off range. The reload time is a little bit longer than the M416 at 2.38 seconds for the short reload and 2.72 seconds for the longer reload. This is going to compromise it a little bit for close quarter combat. You just want to get good at switching to your sidearm. Looking at the recoil pattern, we see that 
beautiful side-to-side -side recoil, a 0.05 left pull, a 0.15 right pull. This makes it extremely easy to aim this gun. Very little side-to-side -side recoil is just ideal for any weapon. And it really just makes the M16A3 a laser beam. On top of that, you can actually make this gun better with attachments. It's already amazing just as a stock weapon. I like to put the heavy barrel and vertical grip on this weapon, which is funny because Battlefield 3, one of my favorite guns to use was the M16A3 with the heavy barrel and vertical grip. Again, Battlefield Hardline is the same case. Just like in BF3, this combination of attachments canceled out the negative aspects of them, so it just gave you a more accurate gun in general with no bad side effects. The stubby grip and muzzle brake are another combination of attachments that will go really well on most weapons. They cancel out each other's bad effects, and that particular combination will be really good for taming guns that have higher side-to-side -side recoil. Obviously, I'm still using the Cobra sight on this weapon, my preferred sight now, and uh, this is really just a whole lot of nostalgia for me. It's the exact same setup I was running in BF3, and I've been having these flashback moments of Battlefield 3 combat. It's just faster paced, the guns feel a little bit snappier, and that laser beam M16A3, it's like BF3 all over again, and that's certainly not a bad thing in my book. Now, of course, this is the Battlefield Hardline beta, and I've already heard the devs talking about balancing out some gun stats and stuff like that. So if these stats don't remain for the final release of the game, I would not be surprised at all. Without question, some guns either need to be buffed or some of the best guns need to be nerfed. We'll see which way the devs go. Either way, for the time being, if you're looking for one of the ultimate guns to use that can serve you well in just about any situation you run into, the M16A3 is really your choice. Use the uh, vertical grip, heavy barrel, your sight of choice, and you'll be just fine. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.